In Indianapolis, Indiana, Rail Cox Connoisseur Sauce. No man, you feeling better? Oh, I'm feeling excellent. Um, it's right. been a long time coming. It's a family over here now. Let's get to work. Okay, building a community. All right, this is my homeboy, Rail Cox. Um, tell them about yourself, Rail. Hey man, I'm Rail Cox, man. Single songwriter from New York. I like to say songwriter and single man because songwriting is definitely first for me, man. Like my, my pen is my passion, bro. I could sit in a room full of 50 people and feel like I'm the best songwriter in there, but I could also sit in that same room and not feel like I'm the best singer yet, but it's coming. But definitely songwriter, singer from Harlem, New York, man, you know what I mean? Like, just ready to get this army shit back, bro. Okay. Oh, uh, Rel, uh, who are your influences? Uh, who inspires you uh, to continue to make music? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to start with people that introduce me to music as far as like Bobby Brown, Johnny Gill, or Michael Jackson. Like, I know I list those and people be like, what the fuck? I never hear nobody say Bobby Brown or Johnny Gill. Give these niggas the fucking credit, man. Like, they open up the door for us, man. Without Bobby Brown, there wouldn't be no Chris Brown. There wouldn't be no Usher. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to people like Bobby Brown, Johnny Gill, Michael Jackson that really got me into music, got me focused up on this music thing. As far as influences, as I got older, I started getting into people like R. Kelly, Tank, Babyface, and Rico Love. Like, I fuck with songwriters heavy, bro, because that shit is dead in my heart, you know what I mean? So anybody that can fuck with both, got the rest of a fan of me, man. Okay, speaking on uh, Babyface, Babyface from Indianapolis. Yeah, he's from Indianapolis, it's, it's kind of dope that we in his hometown right now, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, a dope Indianapolis uh, connoisseur sauce and Harlem collab yeah. with my man Rail Cox. Okay, so uh, other than R&B and hip hop, who are your influences? Uh, do you uh, tap into other genres? Most definitely, man. You know, of course, gospel, man. That's, that's what it came up with, man. You know what I'm saying? Gospel. And just being a songwriter, I got a special appreciation for rock and roll, whether it be soft, hard metal, like all types of rock and roll, and country, man. Like, because those writers, like those, those kind of songs, man, like you can't get that from any other genre because the pain is really felt. Like, you ever listen to a a rock and roll song on and, and, and felt exactly what they was talking about. Like, that's music, man. That's what music is supposed to do for you. Like, country, they'll make some, some kind of heartbreaking song and have you smiling about it. Like, you, you don't even know that, that, that you're just fucking happy and the niggas talking about how somebody just broke us off two minutes ago and shit. But the way it sounds, it puts you in a good place. And that's what I like to do with music. Man. Uh, real, uh, tell me this. Explain how we connected. All right, my man, come to source, source, man. We actually met at the We Love Music Conference, man, last year here in Indianapolis, matter of fact, probably not too far from where we are now, man. Uh, I met dude, man. He was cool from jump, man. Very ambitious, man. That's what I loved about dude, man. He had his hands in everything, man. I respect that. Being from New York and seeing that he's from a small town. It's like, how the fuck you get this hustle like this, man? Like, you would think this guy is from here and all that, but you know, I kind of identify with him, you know, we just show love, man. And, you know, we've been working. And uh, finally up here, we connected for the interview, man. But shout out to Rico Love, man, because if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't never really cross paths, man. That We love music conference, man. I, tell, I, I try to tell everybody, man. All my sign artists, if you think you're popping, man, if, if you just starting out, attend that conference, man, because something is there for you. Go network, go get some information, be a sponge, like, go get yours, man, invest in your craft. If this is what you want to do, you got to invest in yourself, man. Like, if, if you don't, then you're going to be standing still forever. Right. That's a fact, definitely, definitely. And shout out to Rico Love in the right. conference. Big shout out to Rico. Because uh, I really probably wouldn't have never met Real. Yeah. He's from Harlem, and I'm from Indianapolis. and just like that. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, we just making it look simple. And also, um, tell us about your album, uh, Real. It's called Love Inspired. Yeah, Is that correct? Yeah, it's called Love Inspired. I mean, um, it's 11 songs, man. Straight on beat, like real on beat. You can play it from beginning to end. Like, I miss those days. Like, 
You know what I'm saying? When I, used, when I was coming up, listening to people like Case, you know what I'm saying, Carl Thomas, Donnell Jones, I could sit there and play the Donnell Jones uh, album from beginning to end and never, never press skip. Like, that's the kind of feeling I'm trying to bring back, bro. Like, forget having a single, forget having two songs that people's looking for your album. Have a whole complete body of work, man. And that was the goal, you know what I'm saying? That's why it took me so long to make it, because I had to make sure it was just right. It was my first one. It took me about five and a half, six years to make that single. But um, it's well worth it, man. You can find it. Uh, just type in Rob Cox Love Inspired. You find it on SoundCloud, Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal. Everywhere. And anything you got, man, Love Inspired is on it, man. It's, the, it's a little couple with the three hearts melting. You know what I mean? That's real. Yeah. Okay. Also, uh, to wrap it up, speaking on Love Inspired, uh, tell me your three favorite tracks. Like, if if it's your shot to uh, win an ear, okay. what do you want them to hear? Well, being that I'm not sure who I would come against, I would have to keep it. I would have to keep it diverse. So um, I definitely let them hear different, which is my personal favorite. And it's only an interlude, but it's my it's, it's my favorite song. It's two minutes long, and I just love the way it feels. It's so me. So I, 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 I show them different. Um, I would definitely let them hear good girls now, man.